welcome back to my new video um in this tutorial um we are going to be learning about apache spark okay so apache spark is a, a distributed um data processing um framework which is in memory and it's uh, very fast very popular so this month we're just going to be doing apache spark stuff Okay, so um, this first um, lesson, I'm going to teach you how we can read in um, a CSV file, okay? Um, so um, I already have um, Apache Spark installed on my um, local system, so we are going to use that. Okay, so under my current directory, um i have this csv file here called final bv underscore v8 dot csv so what i'm going to do is i'm going to launch um pi spark so i'm going to type pi spark and then i think um let me see the version where is the version Okay, let me launch it first and we can see the, uh, okay. I think it's hyphen hyphen version. Yeah, so I'm currently using um, Spark version 3.3.0, okay. As at the time I'm recording this version of the video, this is what I'm using. So I'm gonna say, Pi Spark and enter. Okay, so we are on the terminal. Um, so I'm going to say Spark dot version. So as you can see, it's three dot three dot o. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say df um is equal to spark dot read dot uh, format and then i'm going to pass in csv because we are reading a csv file and then um or so it's going to be two ways so i'm going to say dot load load is also a function and then i'm going to pass in final bv underscore v8 dot csv let's enter so if i say df dot um print schema Schema is going to show us the um the data types. Okay. Because we didn't load in the headers for the data frame, um, it's going to give us the default headers. Okay. Underscore C0, underscore C1, and so forth. Um, but we don't want this. So I'm going to show you um, another way of doing the same thing. Um, so we're going to say um, df is equal to spark dot read dot option. This option, we're going to pass in header is, is equal to true. Okay, dot CSV because we are reading a CSV. Um, CSV, if it's JSON, we pass JSON or Parquet or whatever data format you are, you are going to be loading, you pass that function in there. Okay. 
So I'm going to say final BV underscore V8 dot CSV. And then, um, yeah, basically that is it. So let's enter and then print the schema one more time, schema. Okay, so as you can see, the first name is company name, open corporate, it's a string, city, state, zip, and so on. Okay. Um, they are, the two last column doesn't have a name, so it came as underscore C20, underscore C21, okay? So let's print the first um, few records. So in PySpark, you're gonna say DF dot. Okay, so these are all the functions. Um, you can, uh, we'll be looking at most of these functions. So if I say df dot um show, where is show? This is show. Okay. Show. So I'm going to say df dot show. You see, the data frame is is very messy. You see, all was not able to fit to my screen, okay? It didn't fit to my screen. So I'm gonna reduce the screen size so you can have a look. You see, it's very, very tiny, but I'm gonna increase it again, okay? Okay, so basically that is, uh, That is a data frame. So we are going to just select some few columns so that we can have a proper look at the column names. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to say df.select select. It's a function. So as you can see, we have select as well as select expression. Okay, so we are going to go for the select. So this function, you use it to select columns. Okay, so we are going to look at the city name. We look at the state, you type as you see. Don't use your own names here. Use the exact names as you see here, including the spaces, okay. So I'm going to say status. I'm going to choose one as a um, company space type. And then um, agent. Okay, let me put in um, incorporation date. And finally, we select the jurisdiction. Okay. Yeah, so I think that is all we need for now, dot show. Okay, so in in Spark, you have um, two terminologies, transformation and then action, okay? So, um you it's spark is more like a lazy evaluation when you transform the data frame it's it's lazy um unless of course you call an action on it then it's going to print out or it's going to show you the results but if you call a series of transformations on your data frame it's going to return a data frame in memory lazy evaluation you're not gonna see it printed unless of course you call an action on it. So put that in mind, transformation and actions. Okay, so I'm gonna, so apply an action. So show, the show method is an action. And then the select 
statement is um okay let's do this i'm not going to show and let's enter you see it's lazy evaluation there's a, a data frame cd states status and so on you see you're not going to see anything okay so i'm going to say the show which is an action and then i'm going to apply that action to the data frame Okay, you see, now we have our data frame selected. Okay, so as you can see, we have the city, state, status, company name, incorporation, and then jurisdiction. Okay. So basically, that is how you read in um, a CSV. Um, file using Spark. Um, in our next lesson, I'm going to show you how you can filter data frames, save data frames, and so on. Okay. Um, so thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.